This video tutorial is about the factors affecting photosynthesis. The factors that affect the rate of the complex process of photosynthesis operate simultaneously. These factors include the raw materials, carbon dioxide and water, as well as the energy source, light intensity, plus the availability of chlorophyll, electron carriers and the relevant enzymes. Other factors, including temperature and turgidity of the cells are also important. At any given moment, the rate of a metabolic process that depends on a number of factors is limited, limited by the factor that is present at its least favorable level. First of all, we're gonna look at the relationship between the rate of photosynthesis and light intensity. Light provides the energy to power the first stage of photosynthesis and produce ATP and reduced NADP, needed for the next stage. Light also causes stomata to open so that gas exchange can occur. When stomata are open, transpiration also occurs, and this leads to uptake of water and its delivery to leaves. At a constant favorable temperature and constant suitable carbon dioxide concentration, Light intensity is the limiting factor. When light intensity is low, the rate of photosynthesis is low. As light intensity increases, the rate of photosynthesis increases. At a certain point, even when light intensity increases, the rate of photosynthesis does not increase, as shown in the graph in front of you. Now, a factor other than light intensity is limiting the process. The graph on the slide in front of you shows that. Where, level, um, where curve A levels out, carbon dioxide concentration limits the process. Where curve C plateaus, temperature is the limiting factor, as shown by curve D. Figure three on the slide in front of you shows what happens when there is little or no light. Firstly, GP cannot be reduced to TP. Secondly, TP levels fall and GP accumulates. And thirdly, if TP levels fall, RUBP cannot be regenerated. The levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and in aquatic habitats are high enough that carbon dioxide is not usually the limiting factor. However, this graph shows us the effect of changing the carbon dioxide concentration on the carbon cycle. If the concentration of carbon dioxide falls below 0.01%, then RUBP cannot accept it and accumulates. GP cannot be made, therefore TP cannot be made. The Calvin cycle involves many enzyme catalyzed reactions and therefore is sensitive to temperature. The effects of changing temperature on the Calvin cycle are from low temperatures to temperatures of 25 to 30 degrees, if plants have enough water and carbon dioxide and a sufficient light intensity, the rate of photosynthesis increases as temperature increases. At temperatures above 30 degrees C, for most plants, growth rates may reduce due to photorespiration. So oxygen competes with carbon dioxide for the enzyme Rubisco, or specifically its active site. This reduces the amount of carbon dioxide being accepted by RUBP and consequently or subsequently reduces the quantity of GP and therefore of TP being produced, whilst initially causing an accumulation of RUBP. However, due to a lack of TP, RUBP cannot be regenerated. At temperatures above 45 degrees C, 
enzymes involved in photosynthesis may be denatured. This would reduce the concentrations of GP and TP and eventually of RUBP, as it cannot be regenerated due to the lack of TP. If a plant has access to sufficient water in the soil, then the transpiration stream has a cooling effect on the plant. The water passes up the xylem to leaves, also keeping plant cells turgid so they can function. Turgid cells keep the stomata open for gas exchange. If not enough water is available to the plant, which is referred to as water stress, the roots are unable to take up enough water to replace that lost by transpiration. The cells lose water and become plasmalized. Plant roots produce abscitic acid that, when translocated to leaves, causes stomata to close, reducing gas exchange. The tissues become flaccid and the leaves wilt, and the rate of photosynthesis greatly reduces.